Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today we are gonna be doing a 10 gigabit ethernet upgrade and also storage upgrade to our QNAP 253D. So let's get started. Before we begin, I do wanna thank QNAP for sending me the 10 gigabit managed switch as well as two 10 gigabit ethernet adapters, PCIe version for the purpose of a theory that I want to test, which is what you guys suggested, running 10 gigabits on Cat5e. Now, that video will actually come out a little bit later because I still have to set up everything before that happens, but the main thing we do need to do is at least upgrade one endpoint. So the QNAP is actually gonna get the 10 gigabit ethernet upgrade as well as two new hard drives inside because the hard drives that I have currently are only two two terabytes and that's just not enough storage. Now I edit mainly off this machine because it had a 2.5 gigabit ethernet built in and it's done great. And now with the 10 gigabit, it's gonna do way much better. And I don't like to keep a lot of footage on my main PC because I tend to erase it or I'm not always editing at the same spot. I might edit on a computer over here, I might edit on my laptop, I might edit on my desktop. So having a remote location for all my footage, I could basically edit anywhere I want. So anything I talk about in this video will be linked down in the description below and let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is actually take apart the QNAP 253D. And to do that, we will have to unlock the front case panel right over here. And remember to remove the hard drives. This way you don't damage anything because you're, we're gonna be rotating this around. And besides, I'm gonna be upgrading these hard drives so it doesn't really matter what order. But if you are gonna put this in a particular area, just remember that this is left side and this one is gonna be the right side just so you don't lose the RAID configuration. All right, uh, once that is done, there are two screws in the back that I'm actually gonna take apart and the case will just slide back. So two little screws here and another screw here. Okay, and once we have that, we just slide this back and this comes off. And now we are exposed to the insides of it. And this card that I'm gonna be installing, which is the 10 gigabyte ethernet adapter from QNAP, uh, will be installed on the top slot where you can see there's a PCIe 4X connector over here. And that's where it's gonna go. Now, before I take this apart, uh, there is a little uh, bracket that you would have to remove. And good thing about QNAP, if you are buying their products, is that they actually come with the special bracket that um, you see how it doesn't have like a um, I don't even know what you call this the little frame or something like that that you would stick onto a PC you would need that bracket with the holes for the adapter so what I mean is this is the adapter itself it's got the little bracket up on top and this guy doesn't have the bracket and if you go through their list of stuff you could actually stick that on a regular PC extra screws and that's the bracket I'm talking about, where it doesn't have that little thing standing out, the standoff or whatever you want to call it. Now, I got to take this apart, these two screws. Oh, it's in there tight. This one off, that comes off easy. Replace it with one of these guys, the same way, reverse the process. Okay, there you go. All right, now that this is installed, I just have to slide it into the QNAP. Yeah slide it into the top part over here and now you could see that there's a new ethernet adapter this 10 gigabyte and there's a little hole that i could secure this in and i'm just going to reuse the screws that i had before in there and that is it that's the 10 gigabyte installed now if, at this time if you want to do an upgrade you could actually upgrade the ram on the bottom there's a little slot for it so originally this comes with four gigs of ram so if you want to upgrade it to eight gigs, or even if you want to change out the RAM completely to like 16 gigs, you could get more efficiency out of it. So I'm done here. I'm just going to slap everything back together, reverse the process and install the new hard drives. And so now time to upgrade these new hard drives. And these are actually easy to replace or easy to change. There's no screws. You just have to pop these out. I think from here. It says pull, see, follow that. Pull. Now I could take this hard drive out, slap the new one in, and 
get these new hard drives in there. And I'll do the same for this hard drive. And since these are brand new hard drives, I'm not going to worry about which order I'm putting them in. I already removed all the data from my old drives. So this way I don't have to worry about what I'm putting in here or how I'm transferring data. It's going to be fresh drives basically. So once I get these in there, I'm going to go through the whole process of initializing them, getting the RAID set up. And slap on the cover. That's it. We're all done. So I'm going to put this back into my network and we're going to test the connections to see how far I could get with the 10 gigabits. And to be honest, I have doubts with it because it doesn't have any cache memory. So I don't know if it's even going to hit the 10 gigabit mark. Now, like I was saying earlier, all the connections and everything will be tested in a later video. And if I do have that available by the time you're watching this one, I'll leave it on the card right over here. But yeah, ultimately, I still have to set up the smart switch. I still have to set up another endpoint, which is probably my computer in my office or possibly this computer over here. And I still have to reconfigure this guy and reload it up with all my software and all my data. So there will be some time before I get that going. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please hit that like button. If you guys have any questions about this, hit it down in the comments below. And if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say, my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.